All right, dudes and dudes, welcome back. Today we're gonna give you guys 10 of the easiest guns to use in Call of Duty Mobile, and you might be surprised by some of them. So let's be honest, most of you guys are not pro players, and you'll potato just like me. So we're gonna give you guys a bunch of builds that have some great recoil, as well as a lot of ammo, because let's be real, the more ammo, the better. But keep in mind, I will be using Pinpoint for all of these because I am a potato. So there is no specific ranking to these, just wanted to put 10 guns that I find really easy to use. To start off, we have the Bison. The Bison has a base mag of 64, which is absolutely fantastic. Not only that, the recoil is almost basically straight. It's just a little bit lateral at the end. And it's got a potential three tap. So for an SMG, this is probably the easiest one to use. It has great range, great damage. Definitely recommend this as one of the guns. Oh my goodness, dude. Chat, we, we were lagging, okay? Yeah, Shut same. Up. Same. That's some good laser beams. Okay, that guy got laser beam. Next up, we got the QQ9. The QQ9 has fantastic mobility as well as very manageable recoil. And not only that, with the 45 round mag, this gun is fantastic. This does also kill faster than the Bison, but it will struggle a little bit at range. But very easy gun to use indeed. Oh my god, Jesus. This next gun might come to a shock to you guys, but it is a super easy gun to use. This gun is none other than the HG40. You might be wondering why is this gun on the list? Well, you will have never seen a SMG with a easier recoil pattern than this. It is almost a basic straight line up, and with all the attachment, this is absolutely fantastic. It's got great range, it got a 45 mag, and it also has decent mobility. That being said, it does struggle a little bit in the time to kill but with the lack of recoil this will be very good at range okay this beamed holy when is everybody using the EMPs? that's a good question i don't know the answer to Shoot. i'm your dad i'm your dad oh. i got your refrag thank you yo the odin feels so good you rat. Freaking. This guy tried to hit fire me. Okay, alright. So no list would be complete without the Cordite. Yes, having 80 bullets means that it is way more forgiving when you're a potato. The recoil pattern is very manageable, but having the chance to shoot so many bullets as well as having decent range on this makes this gun absolutely a must if you are a potato, just like me. Catch this guy over here. Oh. There we go. Teammate got that guy. There we go. There you go. Ooh, alrighty, alrighty. I got that guy here. Ooh, dang, son. So now we're gonna jump into some ARs. This next AR is gonna be the ICR. I think this is the most underrated AR currently in the meta as well as the best if you're a potato. Not only can you put a 50 round mag and it can three tap close range, it's got probably one of the easiest recoil pattern of any AR. The downside is the ADS spread actually, but they buffed that recently. So this is a absolutely fantastic gun if you're a potato. And also, to be honest with you guys, you can most likely dominate with this in ranked games. Gotcha. 
behind the lobby. You can't be damn. I got the sniper. Well, hello there. So this next gun is one of the most popular guns in the game, despite not being a top gun this season. It is a very competitive gun. The M13 has fantastic damage as well, especially if you have the Mythic gun, a great iron sight. The damage profile is actually really good. And the recoil, the only problem with the recoil is that after 10 bullets, it does sway quite a bit. But those first 10 bullets are fantastic, especially if you combine it with the 50 round mag. The M13 is a very, very easy to use gun. I love this sound. Where are these guys? Oh, 48. Ooh, that guy got absolutely lasered. He doesn't see my laser. All right. That nade should have got a kill, but. Oh my god, M13! So let's continue on with this next gun that I think is highly underrated. Matter of fact, this is a Tectonic's favorite gun, the LK24. Matter of fact, it actually got a Battle Pass skin that makes it absolutely fantastic. The LK's got great damage and the recoil is not as good as the ICR. It just swerves a bit diagonally to the left, but it is so easy to use. It's got great bullet spread accuracy and it has great iron sight now. And this makes this a super gun to use and you should definitely use this. They're spawning on it over here. They should be spawning over here. Teammate, you good? They should still be, uh, they should be spawning this way. Now. Die! Togeo! Hit fire. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have been waiting for this gun to make the list. The M4, the original gun that everyone starts off with. Yes, it is a very easy gun to use. Matter of fact, use a 50 round mag and the damage profile is actually very, very good. It is almost essentially like the LK, but to the right, except for the end. But I used this gun recently. It is fantastic. Very easy to use. The fact that I can just beam people from far and if they push me, I could potentially kill them close range makes this gun a super easy to use gun. That guy got beamed. Dang, that was some good damage. Come here. Come here. Fifteen bullets in dream. So this next gun is gonna be one of the only few meta guns on the list. Matter of fact, the Kilo is probably top three this season. So this gun has incredible recoil. As you can see, it's pretty much vertical. Now the only real downside is that the iron sights are not the best. And also if you don't use the base model, it will have a lot of aim shake. Matter of fact, I used the anime Kilo and it had the worst aim shake I've seen of any guns. Now, that being said, this is a easiest build and it wouldn't be easiest build without including the 100 round mag. Yes, using the 100 round mag makes this even easier to use. You do lose some mobility, but being able to spray and pray while having very good recoil makes this very good to use. Hard point I 
No, oh, I got shot in the back. Speaking of big magazines, we're gonna jump into the LMGs. Yes, this next gun is gonna be the Holger. The important part about LMGs is that the fact they have a lot of bullets and you can use the Sable, mean that you can shoot someone and if they are running away, they'll be even slower. The slower the target, the easier to hit. Look, the Holger doesn't have the best recoil, but it is very manageable. And with the 100 bullets, but disabled, this gun is super easy to use. I'm trying to, I can't see the guy in the trailer. I think he might've died. Oh, he's, he's behind. He went all the way back. He's dead. Better than everybody in this lobby. This guy tried to knife me. No, I went to an angle. He Wait, Shock RC saved my life here, right? Oh my god, guys, stop trying okay. to kill me! Listen, I know I said I would do 10 guns, but I'm gonna give you guys a bonus gun, and let's be real, it wouldn't be a list without giving you guys a gun that has unlimited ammo. Yes, the RPD with the cooling barrel, and it's unlimited ammo. Not only that, the recoil is actually very manageable, and and you get to use the sable. The sable with unlimited ammo means that you can spray and pray and stop everybody from running. This is definitely a must have, especially if you are a potato like me. Ooh, that guy went flying across my screen. That should have hit. Somebody kill him. No. Dang I killed the guy off the point, but I don't know where these guys are spawning. I'm assuming he's camping top of the Yeah. Can't find him. Now he's camping yellow now. Bobby? I don't want to talk about this game, chat, okay? Hopefully we win and that's all that matters. OBJ Hitman. Wait a minute, stop the press. We got another bonus for you guys. Let's give you guys a sniper that's super easy to use. Take a look at the XPR. Look, with the stopping power, this gun is a semi-automatic one-tapping machine from quite far. And also, it quick scopes pretty dang easily. Trust me when I say this, this is a very good sniper to use. And yes, people might be like, you're so new for using this gun, but let's be real, it's easy to use. Here. So I gave you guys 12 guns instead of 10 guns, all right? Sue me, why don't you? But let me know if these guns were very easy to use. If you have a gun yourself, put it in the comments down below. Let me know, maybe I did miss one. Maybe you're a bigger potato than me and you have an easier gun to use. Let me know. All right, I'm gonna see you guys next time. Bye.